Apparently, this is a little bit of a new study coming in claiming that NPM registry users download 2.1 billion deprecated packages weekly. That's a lot of billions going on. And of course, for those that don't know, I lost a bet. I have blue hair, so I just need to say that for this recording so you know. Okay, anyways, NPM registry, uh, registry users download deprecated packages an estimated 2.1 billion times weekly, according to statistical analysis of the top 50,000 most downloaded packages in the registry. Okay, okay, deprecated, archived, and orphaned NPM packages can contribute unpatched and or unreported vulnerabilities that pose a risk to projects depend, uh, that depend on them, uh, warned the researchers from Aqua Security's team Nautilus, who published their findings in a blog post on Sunday. Huh. Huh. You know, I somehow I'm not surprised about this because first off, this code is crazy. Okay, what the, what is this code? What are we looking at right here? This code is crazy. Who does it at least align their case statements in like descending order here? Look at this. Else if result switch type squirrely brace? The old else if switch statement? This is crazy. JavaScript developers who rely on open source NPM packages for their own projects may not be aware to, of the extent to which dependencies on deprecated packages impact their work, the Nautilus team said. In conjunction with their research, Aqua Nautilus, such an intense name, has released an open source tool that can help developers identify deprecated dependencies in their projects. NPM publishers may archive packages rather than address security flaws. <laughs> I mean, you know, like that's that's like that's some open source energy right there. Instead of just addressing the problem, they're like, dude, I ain't got time for this. You know what? Archived. <laughs> I I ain't get, I I'm not even gonna look at that. Not my problem anymore. Open source software may stop receiving updates for a variety of reasons, and it is up to developers slash maintainers to communicate this maintenance schedule to users. As researchers pointed out, not all developers are transparent about potential risks to users who uh, download or depend on their outdated NPM packages. Aqua Nautilus researchers kick off, kicked off their analysis after finding that one open source software maintainer responded to a report about a vulnerability Nautilus, Nautilus discovered by archiving the vulnerable repository the same day such such an alpha move that is just i just can't imagine getting a security yeah i can't imagine getting a security report on one of my packages being like by the way this is gonna potentially ruin somebody else's business and my response is and for this reason i am out <laughs> just just shark tank him The ultimate sigma, I know. By archiving the repository without fixing the security flaw or assigning it to CVE, the owner leaves developers of dependent projects in the dark about the risks, the researcher said. Yeah, that sucks, huh? Aqua security researcher Isla Goldman, uh, Ilya, 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 Ilya Goldman, a member of the team Nautilus, highlight, dude, if they say the word Nautilus, I swear, one more time, they say, they've said this word like 18 times, highlighted how vulnerabilities in the open source supply chain can open the door for major cyber attacks. A prime example of this can be the log for shell vulnerability, which is not in NPM, but underscores the problem of using package that has a vulnerability and should be treated as deprecated. Cool. Uh, yeah, I mean, I, I, I like, I agree. I like how they they, they bring up the most, pr like, one of the larger examples that have happened in a while. You know, using your crappy NPM package, this could happen to you. You're like, yeah, it could. It really could. Um, I don't know. I think, I think this is just a great reminder of, like, how much, how, how much do we rely on potentially really shoddy NPM packages. Uh, with that potential consequence in mind, the Aqua Nautilus team sought uh, to better estimate the reach of unmaintained NPM packages in the registry. More than 20% of the top 50K NPM packages may have maintenance gaps. The statistical analysis of the NPM package deprecation encompasses both officially deprecated packages and other packages with an uncertain maintenance st uh, status due to having an archived or unavailable repository linked as the source commit. Unavailable repository. Let's go. Oh, we got a graph coming up. Taking into consideration both deprecated packages and active packages that have direct dependencies on de deprecated projects, the researchers found about 4,100, 8.2% of the top 50,000 most downloaded NPM packages fell under the category of officially deprecation. 
of official deprecation. Wow. That's that's like that's a lot. That's a lot of them. That's that's a that's a lot of them. Does that just simply mean that the uh, front end moves too fast? It's kind of wild to think that the 50,000 Okay, you know you know it's another kind of an interesting thought to kind of kind of mull around in your head is that you're a new company and you go out and you pick some packages, right? You go out there and you pick some technology that you wish to base your stack off of, right? And you're going to now have to write literally thousands upon tens of thousands upon a hundred thousand lines of code, right? You're going to have to get deep into this. And so you pick out some packages. And then two years later, they're all deprecated because the technology you chose today just has completely moved on. Blazingly fast. Great, great IO would send them straight to Guantanamo. Could potentially, I mean, this this happens. This like genuinely happens. I, I've worked at like even the even at Netflix, a lot of the things we're using is is are old. They're they're old because we're just not a brand new company. You know, we're, we have to suffer with the decision someone made eight years ago. Uh, however, adding archived repositories to the definition of deprecated increases the number of packages affected by deprecation and deprecated dependencies to 6,400 to 12.8%. Oh, my goodness. Orphan packages with unavailable non-existent repository source commits can also be considered deprecated due to the decreased ability to attract maintenance status, view commit history, and report issues, researcher said. Damn, look at this. Officially deprecated, 4,100. Officially deprecated... Repository archived, 12.5%. Officially deprecated repository archived and GitHub unavailable 404, 15% of the top 50,000 most downloaded NPM packages. Officially deprecated repository archived, GitHub unavailable 404, no repository linked, 21.2%. Damn. Rip Bozo, that's one out of five, man. This is fine. Every, everything is fine. Extending the definition of deprecation to include NPM packages without actively maintained repository reveals more than 20% of the top 50,000 NPM packages can be considered deprecated. Credit, Aqua Security. It's just, it's so much. It's like, it's like, it's literally like my GitHub of abandoned projects, right? It's pretty impressive, uh, except for my percentage is probably higher. Including packages with linked repositories that sh uh, are shown as unavailable, 404 error on GitHub increases the deprecation rate to 15%. Yeah, we already read all that. Uh, Team Nautilus estimated that under this broader understanding of package deprecation, about 2.1 billion downloads of deprecated packages are made on NPM registry weekly. That's just so many downloads. That's just so many downloads. The problem stretches uh, farther uh, when considering the wide web of dependencies some of these packages creates, such as officially deprecated request package, which has more than 55,000 direct dependencies. Nice. Let's go. That's a lot of people depending on a, on a, on a package that is, is not even you shouldn't use anymore. NPM2. There's NPM2. NPM2 when? Yeah, if you guys don't know, if NPM 1 was so good, when's NPM 2? Psh. It's already right here. NPM 2, even better than NPM 1. Fancy window shell install on Sigwin. Oh, everybody loves Sigwin. NPM not properly managed. Oh, everybody loves it. Developers can use uh, the free dependency deprecation checker uh, published by Aqua Security. Uh, to begin identifying deprecated packages among their dependencies. The tool allows users to set criteria for deprecation according to their preferences, such as excluding packages with archived repositories from the search. The researchers note uh, that the tool is proof of concept and thus not entirely comprehensive, but can give developers an idea of their deprecation status. This is kind of interesting because it'd be fun. I, I actually kind of want to run it on on some Netflix projects and see how uh, do we contribute to this problem. Uh, Aqua Security recommended that organizations establish deprecation protocols that outline their criteria for considering a package to be deprecated. When React deprecated, what do you do then? What do you, what do, you do then? Uh, the team also urges organizations to allow update uh, or replace deprecated dependencies whenever possible. It is critical to 
acknowledge that deprecated dependencies may serve as an entry vector for an attack. Uh, in this context, GitHub can enhance its user's notification mechanism, Goldman uh, suggests. Although NPM displays deprecated messages, these could be expanded into including uh, include warnings when a package relies on a deprecated dependency. Man, imagine if you tried to install anything and they did that. Like, just imagine if you tried to install anything. You'd be like, NPM install WebSockets. And it would just be like, all deprecated. And you're like, oh, cool. Dude, it'd be so many of them. Dang. Okay, well, I didn't know that. I didn't realize it was this bad. But I'm not like, I mean, the problem is, is, is something, I guess the question I have to ask is, because repository archived, is archived considered deprecated? I, I don't think so. I think something can be archived without. I mean, there's that there's that one guy who, when told he had a security warning, he was just like and archived. But you can archive something, saying that its state will just simply not change, which I think is fine. I think it's fine to archive uh, if you don't think there's any more changes that are needed, right? And so archived could be a good thing. Hey. Careful what you use on NPM. I think this is just another reason to try to strive for low dependencies. You know, try to build things as 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 simple as possible. Uh, not just because NPM hell exists, but because you should want to build things as simple as possible to avoid a lot of these problems. I don't think it's terribly hard. Choose a few things that you find vitally important and 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 keep it that way. You know what I mean? The name. This is the primogen. 